You're vegetarian and you're coming to Madrid and you think you're gonna have a terrible eating experience. Look, I totally understand. This is the land of ham. This is a place famous for its meat and seafood. Well, think again. Today I'm taking you on a 100% delicious, 100% vegetarian tapas crawl through the traditional tapas bars of historic Madrid. And I'm gonna show you that even if you don't eat jamon, you can still eat like a king or queen here in the capital. So venga, let's go. Hey Spain lovers, I'm James Blick and welcome to Spain Revealed. This channel's all about helping you experience and explore Spain like a local. Look, when I moved to Madrid nine years ago, the notion of being vegetarian was such a foreign concept. People would come and visit me from overseas, friends, and they were vegetarian. I would take them to tapas bars and I would say to the bartender, he's vegetarian. And they would say to me, but he eats tuna, right? And these were places that were 100 years old and they still didn't understand it. But look, the times they are are changing. Nowadays, 8% of Spaniards identify as either vegan, vegetarian, or flexitarian. So there's much more awareness and understanding about what it means to not eat meat or seafood nowadays in Spain. But here's the thing, today on this tapas tour, we're not going to quote unquote vegetarian places. We're going to the traditional tapas bars I love, the places I go to, and we're gonna order just vegetarian dishes from the menu. And I'm gonna show you that in a traditional tapas bar, so often there's wonderful vegetarian options so you can experience the tradition of being in these bustling places, but also not eat meat or seafood. I'm really excited. This is an adventure for me too, and we're gonna hit our first stop now. My happy place, Casa Tony. This is a place I love to come when I feel like rustic tapas, but of course they do have a whole section dedicated to vegetables. Yeah, they've got meat, they've got seafood, but they've got some delicious traditional vegetarian dishes. Okay, the dishes are starting to arrive, but before we dig in, I wanna help you guys with a little bit of language. So how do you tell a waiter that you're vegetarian? You would say, soy vegetariano in the case of a, of a man, or soy vegetariana in the case of a woman. Really simple, or soy vegano, in the case of a man, soy vegana, in the case of a woman, that's for vegan. You could also say, no como carne ni pescado. That means I don't eat meat or fish. Okay, now one of the most typical dishes that don't contain meat in this country, in this city, are patatas bravas. So these are, yeah. oh, good. oh my God, I love them at Casa Tony. They've got some heat to them in the back of the throat. Patatas bravas are literally double fried potatoes that have a, a spicy pepper sauce on them. It looks red, almost like it's a tomato sauce, but it's not a tomato sauce at all. And here they do them amazingly. They, they fry them once and then they fry them again and it's crispy on the outside, pillowy on the inside, and the sauce they make themselves. And that's really key when it comes to a brava sauce. Pairing it with a vermouth, it's the first stop, so we have to drink vermouth. Again, super classic, pimientos de padrón. These are little green peppers that are from the north of Spain, from Galicia. One in about 10, maybe one in about 15, is actually really spicy, the rest aren't. And they're just literally green peppers, flash fried in olive oil or on the grill, a little bit of salt and so good. And here's a tip, in a lot of bars in Madrid, you can order what's called media ración. So a ración is like a, a full dinner size plate of food. But if you order a media, you get half. What that means is if you're traveling with someone who's not vegetarian and you come to a place like Casa Tony, for each dish, you can just order the half size and that way you can get more variety. Okay, next dish they do here at Casa Tony that's vegetarian, eggplant. Slightly battered and fried eggplant, or berenjenas as we call them in Spanish, with like cane sugar syrup drizzled over the top. Mm. Crispy, wonderfully flavorful. The eggplant doesn't in itself necessarily have a lot of flavor often, but when it's been battered a little bit and fried, it has this cane sugar on the top. Oh my God, it's to die for. Now, one of the standout tapas that they have in Casa Tony are the champignones or the mushrooms. And they just do them on the grill with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of parsley. You just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it and that's all it is. So simple and so delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, another dish. Here we have ensalada de tomates. You will often find dishes where it's just featuring the tomato because it's such a key dish in Spanish cuisine and they're so delicious in this country. And it's just sliced tomato. Mm. Oh my God. The salt, the rock salt, the olive oil, the crunchiness, a little bit of the tomato. So juicy, so flavorful. Not like those tomatoes back home, delicious. Salud, Yoli. Hi. 
Mm, I just love them so much. The sauce is just remarkably incredible. Mm, the smokiness of that, you know, the parsley, the garlic, it's to die for. It's incredible. Castatoni, I love you. We need to hit another stop. We need to keep eating, right? You ready, Yoli? Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's do it. Okay, here we are in a bar that's hidden down the back streets of La Latina, a wonderful tapas area. And what I love about this place is it's food from the south, from Cadiz, from Andalusia, that, that little corner on the southwestern side that is just delicious. And they have some great vegetarian dishes. So the food's ordered, food's coming, salud. Okay, two classic dishes that they have here on the menu at San Lucar. The first is salmorejo. Now you'll have heard of gazpacho. They have that, but they only have that in summer. And you'll often only find gazpacho in summer, that cold tomato soup. But what they do have all year round is salmorejo, which is like a thicker version. It's just tomato, bread, garlic, vinegar, and generally it has egg on top and jamón on top. So you want to ask for it without jamón. You can also ask for it without egg. How does it taste? Oh my God. It's creamy, it's tomato, it's garlicky, it's vinegary. It's absolutely delicious. So when you're ordering this, you'll say, un salmorejo, por favor, sin jamón. Without jamón, sin means without. So sin jamón, and you could also say sin huevo, without egg, sin huevo. All right, next dish. This is another dish they have. It's roasted vegetables. Now, they put some egg on the top as well, so you could ask for this sin huevo. This is verduras asadas and it's a mixture of, it's kind of like a chunky ratatouille. You've got tomato in here, you've got carrots, you've got onion. Mmm, I can smell it. Wow, really intense flavor. Oh, really, really good. I've never actually had this here before, but it's delicious. Okay, here we have this really classic dish. You can't really see it, but it's huevos rotos, broken eggs, which is effectively fried potatoes with fried egg on top, often served with ham. Again, you're gonna ask for it sin jamón, and here they do it with salmorejo over the top, which is kind of like their special touch. So that same dish that I've been eating before. Mmm. Oh. Yes. So next up, another dish here they have in San Luca is garbanzos con tomillo, which is chickpeas with thyme. And effectively, it's a, it's a vegetable stew of chickpeas. There's a ground up garlic, a almond, all these different things. Spices are in there, and it just creates this wonderful stew. Mm. It's almost like a very kind of light Indian curry in a way. I am in my salsa here. I'm in your more, salsa. yeah, so I couldn't see, be. See what you think. I couldn't be more comfortable here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I hadn't had this before, and it's uh, really yummy, very, very delicious. You know, I think, um, as you say, like about the, also the, the chickpeas, you know, like that sort of like light curry sort of um, flavor. Yeah. Let's see the salmorejo. My friend Sonia calls it um, astronaut food. <laughs> And it's like a few spoonfuls and you're full. And it's just so rich and so oh, delicious. Mm. We're two bars in and about eight or nine dishes in, but we have a lot more to get through. Yoli, you ready? Yes. Go. All right, let's keep moving. Next stop. Next stop. Cava Baja. Now this is a famous tapas street and I recently did a video about eating tapas here but there's one bar that has fantastic vegetarian options if you're looking for tortilla and croquetas, those two classic Spanish tapas. And what they have is they have different sort of recipes of each one so you can get different recipes of croquetas, different recipes of tortilla and they have vegetarian options in each of those two different dishes. So I've ordered two types of tortilla, two types of croqueta. We're gonna get some craft beer, we'll take a seat and we'll try the food. This place is delicious. So this place, Pez Tortilla, gets really, really busy. It's right here at the top of Cava Baja. It's pretty quiet now, so we're lucky. And they do a whole range of tortillas. And they change them up a little bit. But right here, I've got the classic. And you can see it's a big, meaty, juicy tortilla. So that's just potato and onion, egg. You know, that's the lot. Salt, olive oil, of course. And I've got this other one here, which is a little different, which has got goat cheese in there, eggplant, and caramelized onion. So looking really good. This is Spain in a dish. Simple, delicious. Mm, oh wow, it's really good. I like a good tortilla that's juicy and meaty and big and the, the onion is perfectly caramelized. A little bit of sweetness, but not too much, which is great. These guys also have an excellent craft beer selection. So they've got IPAs, they've got the full range and they've got them on tap. This is their IPA and it's delicious. Mm. 
All right, I'm going in for this one. Ooh, that's good. You know what's good about it? Is the goat cheese has that saltiness, that kind of sharpness, which, which is delicious in the tortilla. So now it's time for the croquetas. So we've got two different croquetas here. We've got boletos, which is a, a wild mushroom that's in season, as well as truffle, so boletos and truffle. And the other one is caramelized leek, a caramelized leek croqueta. I'm, a, I'm not a super taster, so I probably won't know which one this is. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm, it's good. Perfectly freshly fried to order, crunchy on the outside, gooey and creamy on the inside. I think this is the caramelized leek. It's hot, but it's delicious. You can taste the leek, you can taste the caramelized leek. Mm, it's really yummy. I've never had a croqueta made of caramelized leek. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, it's perfectly, you know, the salt is great. And caramelized, you know, the onion is yummy. The egg is, you know, pretty runny, as I love it. Mm. Good? Really good. I don't think I've ever had one with um, eggplant. Eggplant. Very yummy. Super taster. I love it. Mm. I got the boletus. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. With that truffle. Delicious. Incredible. Really, really delicious. Creamy, huh? Really Very creamy. creamy. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Good, huh? It's totally like a, like you said, like a leek soup. Yeah. Absolutely. The bechamel is perfect, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you can get like this really thick bechamel. This is just great, you know? It's just like what you want, you know? Look at that. I think the texture is perfect. Mm. Okay, three bars down, three to go. How are you feeling, Yoli? I have lots of room in my tummy. Very good. Yoli's still got room in her stomach. We're going to keep going. And the next stop is Madrid's most famous street food, but with a vegetarian twist. Let's go. Guys, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that a classic dish to eat in Madrid, particularly in the Plaza Mayor, is a bocadillo de calamares. And the place I recommend is La Campana for that. But here's the thing, they also have a vegetarian sandwich or bocadillo that you can try. And it's delicious. Let's go in and check it out. So often this place is heaving and you have to really queue up. Right now it's really quiet, but if you turn up and there's a line queuing outside, don't be afraid, don't worry. It moves really quickly because all the cooking happens here and it happens really fast. Okay, look at this guy. It is just big, juicy, fried pieces of green pepper. There's salt on there. It's dripping in olive oil. Delicious and bread. So simple, so delicious. I'm going in. Mm. Oh my God. The sweetness of the pepper that's been fried and also the saltiness of the salt that's all over it. It's delicious. Do I like this more than the bocadillo de calamares? Maybe. And when you come to this place, the classic pairing with your sandwich with your bocadillo is a caña. It's amazing. You don't want to sit down, you want something cheap and filling and delicious, go for this. It's my first time, but it's not going to be my last time. Oh, it's delicious. They're purely, like, they're perfectly cooked. It's so yummy, so delicious. Mm. Okay, Bocadillo down. Now we're heading north to the Chueca neighborhood where there's a couple of really special places I know. So let's go. I don't know if you guys can hear me here, but we're in El Cisne Atul, and this is a bar and a restaurant. I love the bar, but it's famous for its mushrooms and its what? Oh, there, mira. Es un es un boleto, so sí. So guys, this place is famous for its wild mushroom dishes. There's a bar, it's always heaving. We're here on a Sunday and it's crazy. There's a restaurant out back, but I love the bar. And this man, Rowan, behind the bar is a genius on the grill, cooking up mushrooms with a little bit of egg on top, and it's gonna be delicious. And this is what they're serving. These guys just, they get the best in. So if you're a mushroom freak, this is the place to come. It's gonna be heaving, it's gonna be busy, but it's amazing, I love the energy. So here's the thing, when you come here and you're gonna order wild mushrooms, they have a huge variety on display. And they will serve you a mix of mushrooms with or without an egg on top. But another thing that I've also seen on the menu that I've never tried here before is grilled zucchini flour or grilled courgette flour. So I've ordered those, they do them on the grill. 
they look delicious. I've never seen them in any other Spanish tapas bar, so that looks like a pretty interesting dish to try. So those are coming as well. Yeah. Wow, that is intense. It's like there's it's like there's like MSG on there somewhere. There's not, <laughs> but it's just very intense. And with I mean the umami is like off the Richter scale. And with that fried egg, the yolk. If you're vegan, you can get it without the egg, sin huevo. First of all, lettuce of the season. It's, you know, the umami there is like the perfect flavor, you know, for mushroom. It's like incredible. I love boletus. On the egg. Mm. Okay, such a simple dish. Grilled zucchini flour just on the grill there. Olive oil, salt. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is really good. Now I can taste what it is. It's truffle oil on it. It's really good. And crunchy. They're crunchy. Everything in this place is absolutely delicious. But we need to move on. We need to keep eating. You ready, Yoli? Yes. Let's keep eating. Bueno. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Chao. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Adios. Gracias. Hasta luego. Chao. So guys, our last stop is Binoteca Vides. This wine bar, I remember discovering it about five years ago. Vicente here, he just opened it. And Vicente has amazing wines and amazing cheeses. So if you're, if you're looking to finish up your tapas crawl with some incredible cheese and some great wine, this is the place to come. He served us here some amazing Spanish sparkling wine. We've got a spread of goat and sheep's milk cheeses here. If you come here and you want to speak some English, you want to order some great wine, Vicente has wine English perfect. And it's just a great neighborhood bar. Locals come from the neighborhood. Incredible place to end. And I want to show you one thing, Vicente. This is Vicente over here. But 30 years ago. Yeah, look. Vicente comes from wine country, from Albacete. And this is him in front of the vineyards 30 years ago with his father. And so very cute. So the times have changed. Gracias, Vicente. Thank you for you. Muchas gracias, chico. Salud, mi amor. Muchas gracias por todo el trabajo, como siempre. Sí. Ooh, that is good. Guys, if you're gonna finish up a tapas crawl, why not finish with more wine, some incredible cheese. There's nothing better. And, and I just love this place. It's, it's local, it's full of locals. Uh -huh. and, and Vicente here is just an expert on wine. He's got such warmth, he welcomes you into his bar. And this is the kind of place you wanna to come to when you're traveling. You wanna come into a, a place where, it, just this kind of local warmth, I love it. So here, you've got two sheep's milk cheeses here and two goat's milk cheeses here. If you're a cheese fiend, this is a great bar to come to. Ooh, intense. Wow. Mm. It's buttery, it's intense, it's, it's, it's a wonderful sheep's milk cheese. Slightly cured, delicious. All right, let's try this one. I think you said this one has truffle on it. Mm. Oh yeah. Again, softer than this one. It's a little firm, a little more cured. This is a little creamier. It has that wonderful truffle taste. Really good. Okay, let's hit the goat's milk cheese. This one crumblier. It's almost got a parmesan-like quality to it. Oh wow, oh my god. Ooh, that is intense. Tangy. Mm. It's almost citric. It's tangy. Beautiful goat's cheese. Look at this one. This is a, a younger goat's cheese. It's the white color on it. Mm. Ooh. Great, this is amazing. I hope you've seen now that Madrid is awash with wonderful vegetarian tapas. There's so many more videos and tapas crawls and everything on this channel. I hope you'll hang out and watch a few more videos. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, salute and hasta luego. Hasta luego. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.